Greetings. I hope this video finds you well and prospering. Hey, check this out. Man, listen, this social media stuff. Making content. Yeah, we're gonna need some we're gonna need some some discernment and some guidance from the most high God. Listen, I, I observe people. I drove a truck for 23 years. I didn't make content on trucking while I was driving truck. I was really just up on some encouraging words type stuff. I kind of stayed away from the... Uh, trucking content nowadays I see new drivers making content the focus isn't learning the trucking business it's content first and then learn whatever skill craft job or whatever you're getting involved in but I see more and more young people, young adults, putting the content first. And I say it's trucking because I watched this guy. I'm not gonna mention his name. I watched this young man start posting content like three weeks out of truck driving school. Started with a uh, grassroots company that hires, that hires drivers right out of truck driving school. This, this young driver said his first priority was making content. I said, I'm gonna comment on this guy's videos because it may save his life or save someone else's life. I said, I, I wanna say the first comment I posted was Making content and driving truck does not mix. There is too many variables involved in picking up, driving in traffic, sleeping, resting, um, the logistics of your private life and your trucking life. To be making content, preparing content, thinking about uh, what you're gonna post, what you're gonna record, setting up cameras. This guy was setting up cameras at truck stops. Man, if you don't have your head on the swivel at a truck stop, you will get ran over. This, this guy's out setting up cameras, trying to back up. He's just messing up. Like he should be totally fixated on becoming a better truck driver. But he was recording himself being a terrible truck driver which was a liability to the company so the first company fired him yeah but he gained followers so fast because he was a train wreck as a truck driver and people were just watching his content because they was like this guy is messing up and then you had those few uh, the, the the percentage of the people that were ignorant was encouraging him. I mean, you're such an encouragement. I'm thinking about going and getting my CDL. And this guy is just showing the prime example of why you should not be a new truck driver and making content. It was a mess. It, I, I was like, I was praying that this guy did not kill himself or kill somebody trying to post trying to post content man you have to be focused on getting your rest i know what i'm talking about i did i did that for 23 years and i was like even at where i was when i retired from trucking i would have to i would have had to have second thoughts on if i'm going to become a content creator because it's already a stressful job. 
Why do you want to add more to it? And I know that people, hey man, it's, it, look, all these thousands of drivers that's posting. Yeah, I've seen a bunch of those drivers posting. A lot of struggles. They're posting a lot of struggles. Yeah, it's not no, it's not no happy-go-lucky type thing like, oh, I watch some of these people out here van life camping. It's a lot of struggles. Yeah, you like they're in, they're enjoying a certain part of it, and they get, they get a following. You know, they followers grow and grow and grow. But it's a lot of struggle in it. I was just like, man, who would want to, like, I, post, I do this content. It's not a struggle. It's not. A lot of these people are going into the content just because of the content and the algorithm is going to trigger them and it's going to force them to post more and more about what they're making their content about. So they get trapped another inexperienced individual i'm not going to mention his name traveling overseas confesses to be a passport bro he moved out of the states overseas for the content it's a yeah i'm a i'm enjoying life i'm you know it's better life overseas so everything here in the united states is terrible it, it, every other video is is a comparison overseas living to the United States. He's like 24 years old. Listen, the man should have his head on the swivel while he's overseas. He should be watching his back, his front and his sides. People overseas are getting at Americans. More and more, I see more and more of people posting about individuals being overseas, getting drugged, robbed, taken advantage of. And this young man is focused more on saying how bad the United States is and, and he's constantly recording overseas and overseas. I mean, you really should be digging in and learning about where he moved to. Yeah, man, it's, listen, you're going to get monetized and start making money and all of that. But at what cost? The truck driving young man, he stopped making content and he didn't make it in the trucking business. I told him, I said, you are not going to be in trucking long. A bunch of veterans agreed with me. A bunch of these new jacks called me a hater. I said, you're not going to be in trucking long. He wasn't in trucking long at all. And he was not a successful truck driver. And then he started to be a YouTube content creator. And now he's not even a YouTube content creator. These young people, they don't have the stamina. They don't have the stamina, the experience, the fortitude to maintain and stay the course. They... As the Bible said, I'm going to wind this down. They sprinting. Yeah, the race is not given to the swift nor the strong. But to those that endure. They're sprinting. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Follows, follows, follows. Likes, likes, likes. So, this is what happens. The algorithm will have them stuck in whatever they gain in the views and the likes from. So then they don't explore nothing else. They don't enjoy nothing else. Prime example, Kevin Samuels. He got stuck in what he went viral doing, roasting a woman. He, got, he went viral roasting the female and that label stuck to him, average at best. He got stuck in that lane. After that, it was just, oh, this is what's getting me the attention. Oh, this is what's getting me the money. Yeah, but it's detrimental to your health. Yeah, constantly criticizing people, 
constantly judging people according to their appearance. What's your dress size? Well, yeah, what what you did all these questions and you sit you done propped yourself up on the judgment seat, sitting all high as if you are the creator. Yeah, pride precedes a fall. Hey, listen. I would not have you to be ignorant, my brother. Be mindful. If you're making content or if you're watching individuals like me who's making content, it should be a nice balance. I have a nice balance. I'm going to get with y'all later. Peace.